I got two phones, one of them nuggy, one of them cold. Ryan Little. What's good, folks? It's your main man, Dookie, back again with another Sunday Tech Talk. Just going to kind of go over something that's on my mind. I try to bring this to you every Sunday. I actually had one last week that I recorded, did this whole thing. I go in to edit. Something was wrong with my webcam. I don't know, but the footage didn't come out right at all. I still have the one coming on the follow-up to the video where I said I'm gonna be only using Microsoft products for a week, um, like Bing, Edge browser, um, the one, the Microsoft suite of products. Now, for most people, that's no big deal, but for me, I've been, you know, religiously against most Microsoft products other than Windows. And I still don't even use Windows 10 on my primary machine. So it'll be a full upgrade to Windows 10, all of the Microsoft goodies, installing stuff from the Microsoft App Store. Oh, every time I say it, it just makes me want to throw up a little bit in my mouth. But that video is still coming. So make sure you subscribe for that. But I wanted to talk to you about something about buying a cell phone right now. And this disclaimer, if you're the type of person who only buys the newest flagship device, whether if you have an iPhone 10 that's working perfectly and tomorrow they drop the iPhone 11, the day after that they drop the iPhone 12, you're gonna go buy each one without a thought, no matter if it's uh, the same price or $30,000, you're going to sell one of your kids to buy one, then this video ain't for you. Please go on that way. This is not for you at all. I get asked this a lot. Should I buy a brand new budget phone or should I buy an older used flagship? And I'm just going to give you my thoughts and opinions on that. I have two phones right here. This is the Xiaomi Mi A1. This is the Nexus this is the Google Pixel XL first generation. Now, brand new, I think this phone is about $200, maybe $225, it might be cheaper. This is an Android One phone, basically comes with a stock Google experience. Uh, you can still pick up first generation Pixel XLs between uh, ranging about $250 and maybe $400, even cheaper in that price range, depending on the quality and whatnot. Shout out to my homie, Scientific Producer. Uh, this is his phone, and let me get this off of him. Now, sadly, I think this debate comes down to a few key features that are probably the main debates whenever you're deciding to pick up a phone. First and foremost, price. Secondly, features. Uh, another one is support. And finally, you know, no, no specific order, I think camera. That's four of the main things that I think should really factor into this decision when you're making a purchase, if you're looking to go out and buy a phone today. So when you're buying a budget phone, one of the things that, one of the things that is really important with these phones is making sure the price is right. Most of the time when you say it's a budget device or a mid-tier device, you're going to be getting something that around like $200 up to like three. To me, I think that is kind of the sweet spot when you're looking at these type of phones. To get really good features, to get a pretty solid phone compared to some of the budget phones of yesteryear when they really felt like cheap $50 devices. So... Now when you take something like this, when you buy, want to buy an older flagship, you really want those next level specs. You want that processor that you know was next level a year or two ago that might still perform better in apps and games and stuff. You want that camera. That camera is always going to be better on a flagship device more than likely than what it will be on a budget device. Now there are some really good phones out there in the budget range that actually take some solid if not better than solid pictures but i've been checking out a few here on this channel and usually that is where the fall off is you know take this phone for example with it being having a stock android experience i mean it feels like a pixel light <laughs> i would almost say it almost feels just like a pixel light and then the major fall off would be that camera 
If I take pictures with both of these cameras, it's just gonna look better on the Pixel. Honestly, there's nothing, to me there's no camera out there that really holds up to the Pixel brand from the Nexus 6P to the Pixel to the Pixel XL. That's just my opinion, yours may vary. But that's gonna be something really important when you're making your purchasing decision. Now, while neither one of these phones have it, one of the things that's really nice is like the whole 18 by nine bezel-less type of thing. Now, there are gonna be some budget phones that actually have that. I've actually reviewed a couple. There's phones like the 7X, the Honor 7X, that have that 18 by nine ratio, or other phones that really give you the full body experience with smaller bezels than something like this, where you have this, you know, huge chin and bezel up top. Then you have things like dual cameras. This has, these, these phones have dual cameras, but they, they're more for show. You know, they give you that, you can take pictures with the whole portrait mode, blurred background type of thing, but they're way more for show than they actually work. Whereas on some of the most, the newer flagship phones, those dual cameras are really gonna give you a great experience. And then, you know, last but not least, not last, but support. You know, what kind of support can you get? If you have a problem with your budget phone, usually from a company like Xiaomi, ZTE, whatever, are you gonna get the same type of support that you get when you have a problem with your Pixel, when you have a problem with your Galaxy S9, when you have a problem with your iPhone. And if you're the type of person that, you know, if my phone breaks on Tuesday, I need to have a replacement by Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday the latest, you might wanna think about that. You might wanna put that into consideration. And sometimes you can buy used flagship phones that still have the warranty intact. They'll just transfer it over to you. So that's something you definitely want to come into play. To me, I think it's always gonna come down to price. Now let's say I wanna go out today and buy either a brand new Xiaomi A1 or a used Google Pixel. Now, it depends on, you know, I got this from somebody I know personally, so that definitely came into play. That might happen for you. You might know somebody that has a phone that upgraded, so you might want to take that into account. But both of these phones are not giving me the, the, the day one newest features. But honestly, it's almost a toss up. To me, where the big difference between these two phones is the camera. It comes down to the camera. I love taking new pic I love taking pictures. I take a lot of pictures, and I still think the camera on this phone is one of the best out there. It just takes great pictures. So that's definitely what's gonna come into play for me. And right now I could go on Swapper, find this phone starting at 250. I could go buy this phone brand new, about 200, 225. And honestly, it's honestly, I would go for this. Honestly, I would go for this because if the phone is in great condition, that means it wasn't dropped a lot, doesn't have a cracked screen or something like this, you can still get a lot of use out of this phone. So let me ask you, if you had to go out and buy a phone under $300 right now, under $500, would you go out and buy a brand new mid-range budget phone or would you buy a used flagship? Now, a lot of people don't like used devices. A lot of people only want brand new. So that may come into play. You know, you might not want to use somebody else's old devices. I still think, I personally love used devices because you can still get a lot of functionality out of it. I let somebody else be the tester. Somebody else go buy the brand new thing for $1,000. And when the next new thing comes out and they just want to recoup a little bit of their money, that's when your boy slides in, gets a nice deal, and I'm good to go. <laughs> you know, that's just how I do. So you guys let me know down in the comments. This has just been a little nice conversation back and forth. I love to talk more with you guys. I know a lot of people have really strong opinions on this. So, I mean, you guys let me know down in the comments what's good. It's your Ken Folk Dookie. I'm going to get up out of here. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and always remember to holler at your boy.